Have we finally hit the bullseye and found the perfect gene? Perfect gene. Is it even possible? Well, watch on to see our full and honest perfect gene review to find out. Now, you may be wondering what happened to that axe. Well, it fell. I had to get a couple to stick. But you know what? I was at least comfortable doing it. Let's dive in and see if the perfect gene is perfect for axe throwing, hanging around the house, or even just hanging around with friends. The perfect gene, what is the big idea? The perfect gene claims to have extremely high quality genes that typically cost more than 200 bucks. They give the comparison of Rag and Bone being 225 bucks, Mott and Bow being 108, and theirs being only 80. Well, I've got even better news for you. I'm not gonna bury the lead here. If you use our special promo code, we tried it 25, you can get the perfect gene for only 60 bucks. Now, we will give the perfect gene the thumbs up as you'll see in this review. We're gonna dive in real deep, but if you wanna save the money now, just go ahead and go to the perfect gene and use our special promo code, We Tried It 25 Let's start with the look. Unless you're buying sevens like back in the day, I remember seeing these pockets on girls and some guys, you really don't want a whole lot of branding on the back of your pants. In fact, they just have a tiny little logo on one of the back pockets, which I, I personally like that. I don't like a lot of brain on the back of my pants. They come in four basic washes. I tried the dark blue. Here's what they all look like. They have black, dark blue. There's the picture from the website and in real life, you can see they're real similar. Medium blue and light indigo, which is kind of that acid wash color. Don't really care for that, but if that's your thing, that's all good. Okay, next we have the Perfect Gene Review, the fit. Here's one small grab I have about the Perfect Gene. Because their material is so stretchy, you need to size down. If you typically wear a size 32, I would recommend sizing down to probably a size 30, maybe a 31. I wear a size 32 in almost every pair of pants that I own, and you can see here they're really, really stretchy, and so they're actually really loose. I had to keep on pulling them up um, with a size 32. Now here they are with a size 30. You can still see that they're nice and stretchy, but I don't have to pull them up all the time. So really the only thing I have to say about the perfect gene when it comes to sizing is size down. And even on their website, they say, like all premium denim, our gene will increase about half a size through wearing and then return to original form when washed. Try to wash cold and dry on low heat. So make sure once again that you size down and it can help a little bit when after you wash them, that it'll go back to its regular size. Now, I tried the slim version, not the skinny version. Another little tiny pet peeve is the slim version even around my calves, you can see here, is just a little bit too tight for me. So I don't even know how you would wear the skinny version because those would be super, super tight. Perfect gene, the stretch and comfort. Well, if I gave one word for the comfort department here, it would be Wow. Woohoo! When you put these jeans on, they are instantly soft and the stretch is amazing. You're gonna wanna do a couple of air squats immediately just to see how stretchy they are. Well, if you're a pure denim enthusiast, I got a little bit of bad news for you, but not bad news for most folks. Pure denim is 100% cotton and the perfect jean is not, and that's actually super preferable to me. The perfect jeans have got 64.5% cotton, 30% polyester, 3.5% viscose, and 2% spandex. You may not have heard of viscose before. I, I had never done it or seen it before, but it's basically artificial silk. The cotton combo is what makes the perfect jeans well more perfect. And, and I'm not a denim purist, so some people will absolutely hate these if, if you will only wear real quote unquote denim, but they're super comfortable. It takes all the great qualities of cotton, and spandex and the stretch puts them all together to get a really great product now another thing that i always check when getting new jeans is do they bleed and what i mean is if you put a white piece of paper on them does the color transfer to the paper now it's not that big a deal with paper but one time i went to the doctor and i had some weird allergic reaction to something and they thought i had a rare hand disease because my hands were blue turns out it was just the jeans that had washed off and rubbed off on my hands. So I don't like it for that, and I don't like it because you have to worry about what shoes you're wearing too. 
because you don't want to get those dirty either. But I got great news to report here is the Perfect Jean does not bleed. I even tested it with a piece of white paper just to make sure. Now, I've only had the Perfect Jean for a couple of weeks here, and I've had no problems. I do kind of wish that the Perfect Jean had a, a gusset, which is a little fabric area underneath the crotch. That really does help with durability over a long period of time. The Perfect Jean does not have it, but it's not a deal killer by any means. Okay, the Perfect Jean review, the final verdict. Now, I talked about it earlier. The best part about the Perfect Jean is it is only $80 retail. And if you use our special promo code, we tried it 25, you can get it for only 60 bucks. Now, I probably would say I like doer jeans a little bit more, but they're more than twice as expensive. So I'd rather have a couple of pairs of the perfect jean over one pair of doer. Once again, you can save another 20 bucks by using our promo code, we tried it 25. Before we go, I want to send you a special link to get the top life hacks we never talk about. Be sure to click this link here. We'll send it to you. Some really cheap things that we use every day that for some reason we've never written about, but we thought we'd give it away to our loyal fans. What do you think of this review? If you liked it, give it the thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. And we hope to see you again real soon.